residents have been engaged in a tense standoff for much of the morning. Uh, tenants of flats saying they don't know why they are being evicted. ENCA's Malungelu Boy is covering that story for us. So we're seeing a little more activity on the ground. Malu, behind you, uh, fill us in where do things stand at the moment? That's right, Jeremy. In fact, the Red Ants have just finished um, evicting some people in this particular property where you see, Jeremy, security guards. You must know that our Red Ants have finished evicting people and they've stationed those security guards to make sure that no one goes back inside that property. Some of the people that have been evicted, if you could just see on my left, Jeremy, some of their belongings, they're not sure, Jeremy, where they will be sleeping tonight and also saying that they don't understand why they've been evicted. This eviction, Jeremy, you could see also there's a lot of police presence that is accompanying the Red Ends. When we were talking to some of the people that are actually in charge of this eviction, saying that to us that they have an order to evict these people and the people that they're evicting are people that have not been paying uh, rental. And of course, Jeremy, I did manage to speak to one of the women who said to me that they've been, she has been paying rent every month without fail. Let's take a listen to what she had to say to me. Like, now we don't have money. We don't have anywhere to go. So you don't have money now? You don't have we don't have anything. So what are you going to do? Nothing. I, I think I'm going to stay in the, st in the street now because I don't have money, I don't have anything so your, on me. So the landlord, what did your landlord you tell the landlord? Did yeah. He tell you about the eviction? No, he didn't tell us. They, they, us we just hear it from people. Then we asked him. He said, no, don't ask me those questions. We are, I'm going to tell you if there's something happening. So you didn't even tell us. Who were you paying money to? Is it Mafadi people or the owner of the flat? The, it's like this flat, you know, there's a people, they, it's like they, they went to the office to be the owner. So as we were paying those people, we were landlords. So those landlords, they were not paying. I don't know what's going on so there. So you think the, land, the, the landlord was not paying Mafadi? Yeah, because if they were paying, we were not supposed to, to, to come out. Hey, we're supposed to stay inside there because as we, it's so painful. Because, because as we are giving, we were giving him money, but him, he were not paying there. Now it's our, our problem. Now we are outside. We don't, we don't have anywhere to go. You see. So fairly desperate, Malu, as far as her prospects are concerned tonight. I have two quick questions for you. One, uh, give me an indication of approximately how many people have been affected, and do we know who owns the buildings? Well, Jeremy, I'll tell you in terms of the number of people that have been affected, what, the, what, what some of the people that officials that are evicting the, 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 the people here are saying that they are targeting at least 60 units in at least 16 properties. Now, some, in some of these units, it's not only one family that resides in the unit. It, it, it's about three at times. Um, so there's a number of people that would be affected by, by by this eviction. Another person was saying that there's about over a hundred people that are affected by this eviction, but um, I suspect, Jeremy, the numbers could actually be even higher. Oh, who, who owns these properties, Jeremy? It's anyone's guess, really, but what we know is that they are being managed by Mafadi properties. And you haven't had an opportunity yet to talk to Mafadi properties. I think you were telling me earlier they are set at some point uh, to address this particular issue, but we'll have to wait for that one. That's right, Jeremy. We're waiting to hear from them. But one of the things though, that I have been hearing um, fr from some of their officials that are on the ground is that this eviction is legal. All right, uh, Malungelu Boy, thank you very much uh, indeed. Uh, Windsor East here in Johannesburg.